Hey guys, Mark Serber with Prost America here to talk a little Le Bleu, and of course, always representing the red, white, and blue. Huge game tomorrow against Ecuador. Good luck to the boys tomorrow. But getting back to the European Championships, let's talk about the big thing from this match. And it was the big news even before this match even started. And that was keeping Paul Pogba and Antoine Griezmann on the bench in favor of Anthony Martial and Kingsley Coman. I still think it was a genius move from Didier Deschamps. First of all, Antoine Griezmann needs rest. He is exhausted from the way Atletico Madrid plays and his physical exertions throughout the season. If France could get through to this group stage without Antoine Griezmann having to play the 90 minutes in all three games, then that is a huge victory for France, and it's job done after just two games with him only going the 90 in the first game and then not having to go the full 90 this time around, and yet still coming on and being the match winner. Now for Paul Pogba, I think he put way too much pressure on himself, and he kind of needed to sit on the sidelines and see that this is a French team that can still play without him. Granted, they didn't play well without him, but he saw that they would be okay. I think when he came onto the field, he was a lot more relaxed, played with less pressure, and was his more normal creative self that we've seen with the French national team, and especially with Juventus. Now, Anthony Martial, of course, did not have his best 45 minutes, but he deserved to be in the starting lineup on merit for the 45 minutes he had in the first game. And so, therefore, I think Didier Deschamps made the right moves. Now, a lot of people are saying, but Pogba and Griezmann are angry at Deschamps. Of course they're angry at Deschamps. If they're a footballer and they're not angry that they're not starting, then something is wrong with them. Second of all, Didier Deschamps does not care whether or not Pogba and Griezmann are mad at him. If their way of getting back at him is getting France all three points, then I guarantee you he doesn't care. It's a win-win for everyone involved. I think them not starting and coming off the bench, they made a much greater impact, and of course they were instrumental in them getting the 2 nothing win. Now let's talk a little bit about Albania. I absolutely love the way they played this game. And let's not forget, this is an Albania side that in two friendlies tied and beat the French. So it was always going to be a tough game. But they didn't give them too much respect. They showed no fear. And not only were they compact on defense and did they really snuff them out, but they went forward on offense and they could have taken the lead when they hit the post on 52 minutes. So all credit to Albania. In the end, though, they were undone by giving out a little bit too much space on the flanks it allowed the first cross to come in, which went, of course, all the way through the box and came out for Remy to put back a cross goal, which Griezmann headed home the opening goal. And then, of course, things were always going to open up and Payet deserved to score for a second time in this tournament. So France through to the quarterfinals with a game to spare. I think Deschamps got it absolutely right. Good for Didier Deschamps. Good for France. And also a big shout out to Albania. I say good luck. Go on. Get those three points against Romania and see if you can't get through as one of the best third-place sides.